What's going on you guys? I hope y'all are having another good day. Uh, it's been a little bit time. I know I've been gone, but I wanted to make you guys some content and get you guys spooled up on what's been going on around the shop. Or I say shop, but you know what I mean? I mean my house. Um, if you can tell right now, the background is a little different. That's because we are in my backyard at my house. Um, and just like that, I figured I, it's time to switch it up, you know. Um, not from diesel content. Diesel content will never leave this channel. Uh, but I figured I'd give you guys a different scene on what goes on with, you know, everything Diesel's life slash, you know, who Cameron is. Because if you didn't know, my first name's Cameron. So, pretty much right now what I'm going to show you guys is what has been occupying my time since my last Diesel video. Pretty much this whole fall. Um, I haven't really talked about it much. Actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on the channel. I was going to make a video a long time ago, but I honestly just forgot. And it was back when it was super hot and I just never made it. But... I, I figured we could switch it up today. So as you guys know, uh, we got a lot of hunters on my channel, a lot of dudes into guns and stuff. YouTube's, I'm not going to go all sideways, but YouTube is, is, is very peculiar when it comes to guns and talking about guns and demonstrations, how to do's and stuff. They have a really tight policy on that. So uh, hopefully this video doesn't get tagged or anything, but what has been taking up my time is hunting. All right, you guys already know I deer hunt. Um, I've only gotten one deer this season so far, a doe, about a hundred pound doe. Uh, it was just to put some meat in the freezer, um, so I was happy for that. Still duck hunt or still uh, deer hunting. I'm I'm trying to get a buck now, uh, at least a five point, hopefully. Um, I don't think I'll tag out this year, but it'll still be good. Um, but on the other side of hunting, besides deer hunting, I also duck hunt. Uh, I actually love duck hunting. Um, my buddy got me into it like a year ago. A little over a year ago and uh, I just fell in love with it uh, it got to the point where I actually went and bought a John boat so I bought a John boat uh, about back in September about the end of September beginning of October I went and bought a uh, 14 14 foot double wide John boat um, for those of you that don't know much about hunting and stuff uh, pretty much when you duck hunt you can duck hunt on land or in marshes and stuff which is cool but if you got a John boat a little boat to get around between little creeks and tight spots and stuff that's the best way to go man and then uh if you got a pop-up blind so you can hide behind that's like the best setup so i'm gonna show you guys my john boat and i'm gonna show you guys what i hunt with uh tomorrow morning is thanksgiving or tomorrow's thanksgiving i am doing a duck hunt in the morning i'm gonna try my best to make a hunting vlog tomorrow um me and my buddy uh joe are gonna be going out about 2 30 in the morning it's about an hour and 45 minute drive to where we're going uh we're actually going to it's called the pamlico waterfowl impoundment so it's about an hour and 45 minutes from me. If any of you guys from North Carolina ever hunted there, I would love to hear your experience. Um, or just hunt it in North Carolina, duck hunting, period. Or deer hunting. I would love to hear. Comment down below, man. Because I know we got some North Carolina followers on this channel. Um, but if, for my hunters out there, you know, if you like this video, please do me a favor. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know how you like it. Uh, I've never really had a video talking about stuff like this outside of diesel. So it's, it feels kind of weird. I feel like I'm just vlogging for no reason. But, you know, it's a good scenery, okay? So let's get it started. All right, you guys, so what we got here is a 14 foot double wide. So when I say double wide, all that means is it's double the width. So you got single wide, which is like not half as wide, but it's about a third, not, a, it's about a third less in terms of width. And then you got 14 feet long. So this is a 14 foot double wide John boat. Easily, easily can put four guys in here, full gear, equipment. Uh, I'm a big dude, 250 pounds. You know, uh, I'm sitting back here running the motor. I got three dudes in here and this boat takes it like a champ so this is like i said 14 foot long double wide uh motor i know that probably that's what y'all a lot of y'all want want to hear this is a 1987 mercury two-stroke originally oil injected but it got bypassed um outboard engine 25 horsepower uh more than enough power this engine is a trooper um i actually phew, my last hunt we hit some some stuff man and i got to change that prop out because she got she went through some hell last one, uh, last time, and she took it, took it like a champ. Don't know the hours, don't know how many hours are on it. Um, all I know is that water pump was changed recently. Back in spring, carburetors were taken apart, cleaned, rebuilt, put together, cleaned up. Uh, it was oil injected. It's bypassed, so I do a two cycle mix. So if you come up here, you can see uh, I got my two cycle. I mix with the gas when I do it, which is the best way you can go because you won't ever have to worry about getting a piston stuck or frying your, your block. Um, it's extremely dirty right now because we have a pop-up blind we built. I'm not going to try to, uh, a scissor blind, really. I'm not going to try to 
for the angle with it right now because it kind of sucks when it's only one person you need two people to prop them up back here and up here at the same time so we made this me and my buddy joe made this about a week ago uh we took it out on the water last saturday and it worked perfectly fine um we did the wiring the lights on here put these ox oxbeam sent me these lights um a long time ago for a review video and i had no purpose of them on my truck just because i didn't want them sticking out so i never put them on until i got the boat and then i put these on wire them up to the battery back there um the motor is electric start so it's kind of convenient i can start it with a button or i can pull a string it I, i'm gonna start it up for y'all here in a little bit just to kind of run some water through her uh we got the old school trailer it's it, <laughs> it seen better days but hey it works man the axle's good tires are good all the lights work for those y'all with trailers y'all know how much of a headache it can be having to rerun wires on your trailer uh not because it's hard just because it takes time and it can get annoying uh let's see it is a ha outboard hand tiller so you just sit back here and you just you know you till the motor you till it whichever way you want to this is the throttle right here so right now it's in neutral no, now it's in neutral i don't think it was earlier uh it's in neutral you know you do that uh we got a battery it actually has a nice new battery when i got it uh this is from last uh, august uh, from academy or actually i think it's from this year august i don't know but it's good battery i charge it i charge my battery every time before i go out on the water the night before just to make sure i have a good charge uh it doesn't need to but I, I like to do that six gallon gas tank and i keep a little gallon jerry can on me just in case never ran out of water yet knock on wood haven't ran out on ran uh, ran out of fuel yet while on the boat but i mean i got this cool ass little uh little sight gauge here it lets me know how much fuel is in there right now it's empty so we will be going to the gas station to fill her up i was actually talking with my, my man adrian my amzo dealer uh i'm running penzoil two cycle mix right now uh but we're gonna get the setup with uh, amzo for uh that synthetic uh two-stroke oil so pretty pretty stoked about that uh but other than that man this is a solid it's a solid boat i'm talking transom's good paperwork's tight um i actually got a screaming deal for it i paid 1500 bucks for this boat boat trailer everything the only things i did was add the lights and the scissor blind the boat was already color scheme painted like this yeah i mean you could not have asked for a better setup you know um the guy was asking what two was that's like 2500 and he was a marine because you guys know i'm in the marine corps he was a marine and like i asked him i was like Hey man, I hit him up on Marketplace. And I was like, hey man, I'm just out of curiosity. Like, would you take 1500 bucks for this? Like, I got 1500 cash. Would you be willing to take this? And he hit me up. Like, he saw the message. And then, it, like, you know, when you see the message and then it doesn't, like, you don't get a response. He saw it. And then, like, five minutes later, I didn't get a response. And I'm like, oh, damn. He probably ain't. He probably said, man, screw this guy. But he hit me up and he was like, hey man, if you got 1500 cash, come get it right now because i leave in about two weeks he was uh moving and it'll be yours and i went out there took it on the water tested it it, it ran good i was like yeah it's, it, i'll take i took it man so this is what's been occupying my time for the last couple of weeks um duck hunting here in north carolina doesn't really start to pick up until about right now like the seasons are are, are the time periods are they're controlled so it's not like deer where it opens and it stays open until january 2nd duck season is open weekly slash monthly so like for instance right now the season is open from the 22nd of november until december 2nd which is why we've been getting out on the water um we actually have a select hunt that we're doing tomorrow so you pay kind of like a it's like a lottery you pay to hunt these uh waterfowl impoundments and you pay eight bucks but that doesn't mean you're gonna get selected so if you get selected you can hunt and they'll tell you what day to hunt and you get a pass so we got a pass for tomorrow for the water impoundment we're going to so i'm pretty stoked about that never been up there so if you guys have been on the pamlico waterfowl impoundment please comment down below because i would love to hear or see you can hit me up on instagram i would love to see your experience from there okay um as for birds uh what type of ducks uh we've i kill or shoot honestly as long as it's in game and it's not over the bag limit i'll, I'll take it um so far this season we've gotten teal ruddies uh we got a buffalo head but those that sneaky little bastard got away from us uh because if you guys know some most ducks are diving ducks they can dive and swim but buffalo heads are known for like swimming underwater especially when you get close to them but um we got that 
I don't think we have any McGansers, but yeah, we had a, we had a, we had a good time, you know. Um, so tomorrow, I'm expecting it to be good. I will have my GoPro with me, so I'll be able to get some film on that. Uh, we got deep, my buddy got all the decoys. I'm actually I actually got to go to the Academy, which is like an outdoor store if you didn't know. I got to go to the Academy pick up uh, a Mojo, which is a motorized decoy. I got to pick up a circuit breaker. That's another thing I forgot to show you guys. Just picked up a till um, on a god dang, I can't even think. <laughs> Just picked up a tilling or a trolling motor. Trolling motor. There we go. Just picked up a trolling motor uh, for the transom mount style. So we got to set that up. I'll bring that out in a second and show you guys. Um, but I figured since I'm talking about hunting and stuff and, you know, my boat and all that stuff, what I use, I figured I'll show you guys what I hunt with. Okay. Now, some of this stuff, this is the part I kind of waited, you know, we're about, I don't know, eight minutes into the video. I wanted to wait at least into the middle so that way YouTube wasn't be like, oh, intro, guns, no, you know, no bueno. So hopefully they don't tag it. Um, if they do, whatever. I don't care. So, all right. This doesn't. This isn't necessarily duck hunting. This is uh, something I recently acquired, which is pretty stoked. I got a screaming deal on it from a dude uh, I know. So what I got here is a Thompson Center, three and one. Okay. This is a th right now currently set up as a 308 Winchester, single shot. All right. Um, you can see it right there. It, he gave me the scopes the bags ammo he he hooked it up he hooked it up uh never had a thompson center never had a 308 this is my first 308 uh i do have more guns than this so if you guys really are interested i would definitely make more videos if you guys want to see them um i'm not i don't have a crap ton but i i got more um so yeah this is a single shot 308 um with a vortex scope on it it can go up to i believe 600 yards on this scope setup it's already zeroed in uh this is I haven't shot it yet too. I was gonna shoot it today, but I didn't feel like going because I had other things to do with the boat prep and whatnot. Over here we got a same thing, Thompson Center 50 Magnum uh muzzle loader. So you can shoot this can shoot 50 50 caliber uh muzzle loads, which is pretty stoke. Uh you could put three um primers into it. Well not primers, but the powder, the little pellets, you could put three of those in there. Well yeah, it is a primer. And then you got the little uh I, I'm not too familiar on muzzle loaders just because I've never had one before. But you put a little primer back here and then you put you load it, you use the rod and jam it in, put your uh, powder and then the projectile, which would be the 50 cal in, cock her back and let it ride. So super stoked about this. Uh, I'm going to be taking this next time I go deer hunting. I'm taking this with me because I haven't gotten a kill with a 308 yet. All my kills have been with my 3030 uh, lever action. So that's pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we got that, and then for duck hunting, I got two options currently. Might be three down the road, I don't know. But I got a Magnum, not Magnum. <laughs> uh, I got a Maverick 88 Mossberg, which is essentially a Mossberg 500, which is a very well-known shotgun. Um, you know, it's either Mossberg 500 or Remington 870. All you got, all you gun guys know, like those are like two of the biggest, like base, like entry level shotguns. This is a perfect bird gun. Um, turkeys, depending on the choke setup. Turkeys. I've taken many ducks with this gun. I've deer hunted with this gun with slugs, um, all that stuff. I don't have a scope or a rail on it. I actually I got scope, no rail. I need to order a rail for it. This is a semi or this is a semi automatic pump action. It can hold six shells, shoot up to three inch shells out of it. Really, just I'm talking reliability and just dedicated this is it this is like in my personal opinion the ak of shotguns in america i mean you i've dropped this this thing man in the mud i've had mud in the, in the chambers i've i've put this gun through hell and i mean you can see <laughs> i've gotten my, my workings in it into it um excuse it i know it's a little dirty right now uh, i haven't cleaned my, my shit uh yet so we got that i love my maverick that was my first shotgun i ever got i'm probably hold on to it give it to my son when he gets older right here a lot of people don't know about this or trust it, but we got what's called, the brand is called TriStar. Um, it's a Turkish brand, made in Turkey, but they do have an assembly plant here in uh, Kentucky because I had to send this off to them, the receiver off to them, the, or not the receiver, the trigger housing. So what we got here is a TriStar. I believe this is the Raptor. I'm pretty sure this is the TriStar Raptor. This is the entry low. It's so dirty. Oh, man, I feel, I'm so embarrassed showing this. Thing. Uh, this is a TriStar Raptor semi-automatic 12-gauge uh, shotgun. It can shoot up to three inch shells uh yeah three inch it could shoot up three inch shells and i've shot slugs i've shot i broke it in with slugs actually in heavy loads um it could shoot slugs bird shot it, it could shoot anything super now this is it most people call this the walmart gun because i got this from walmart you go to walmart and get this gun for like i think i paid 275 for 
the, a semi-automatic shotgun. How many times has this, has this jammed on me? I shot a hundred sh uh, steel heavy load shots out of this shotgun shooting skeet one day. Not one jam. And that was me breaking it in, by the way, too, with heavy loads. Did not jam whatsoever. It did get hot. Um, and it just kept taking it, man. It took it like a champ. So this is currently, like right now at this moment, like when I went out last weekend, I shot with my TriStar. Really good. Really good gun. Um, this is like the cheapest semi-automatic I know of next to like a... I forgot what the name of it is, but it's also sold at Walmart, too. But if you're looking for a, a cheap, reliable, semi-automatic shotgun for hunting, look up TriStar. Walmart sells them. If your Walmart sells guns, Walmart will sell it. Or you can go online, like Gun Broker, get a used one, or at a pawn shop. Very, very good. For me, it worked fine. The only issue I had was with the trigger housing. Uh, I took it apart and cleaned it one day, and, like, everything just fell apart. Like, springs came out. It, it just something. This pin got like the pin the holder pin for it. it like got all messed up so i had to send it into them i had to send it into them to get it rebuilt but it was under warranty so it was free to me it just took like a week and a half to get it back so this is what i'm rocking with um tomorrow morning i will be I i'm gonna take both out just in case because even though and this is just all semi-automatics if one fails one day something happens you know i don't want to be without a gun so i always bring both of my shotguns because this is old faithful she'll always work i never have i never have to question my maverick 88 not working um but i always bring both of them so this is my my, my small little setup i got y'all um I, it's awesome it's dope so i'm super pumped about it i can't wait to shoot this throwaway i haven't shot it yet i wasn't gonna shoot it today i know i told y'all already but i'm just super pumped for this one so i'm gonna go ahead and close this stuff up because i kind of feel a couple little raindrops i'm gonna crank her up for y'all right now i gotta fill up that bucket back over there that blue bucket so i can put the motor into it fill her up and then we're gonna crank her up all right all right you guys so i got the water i got the water uh in the bucket it's like overfilling now so now i'm gonna go ahead and crank up old girl And that's what I'm talking about. This motor right here is such a stud. First crank up. First crank up of since the last week, man. And she just cranked up like a champ. I mean, if I wanted to, I could engage the prop. Go ahead and kill her. But yeah, that's it, man. That's old girl. She can get it. Ugh. So now what we gotta do is, uh, I gotta take the gas tank to the. I'm, I'm gonna take it out the boat, take it to the gas station, fill her up, six gallons, and then fill up my little side jerry can. That way, I got a full tank in the morning. Just cause I don't feel like hooking up the boat to the truck right now, even though it's really easy, cause I can I can pull this boat by myself, cause it's so light. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man, for sure enjoy that uh it was just a little little startup little putt putt but yeah you know old girl's good man and if y'all still wondering about the cummins she ain't, she's doing good too she's dirty right now i gotta wash her but everything's all good in the hood you know what i'm saying uh for the truck though i still got traction bars i gotta mount up i'm in works right now with somebody for some front um control arms adjustable control arm so that's gonna be a good video so we got we still got stuff going on with the truck uh but you know it's just been a little hard because time and the daylight i mean weekends right now is like the only like true time i get but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video give you guys a little insight on what i'm doing besides diesel videos and stuff like that uh comment down below tell me about your hunting if you hunt uh or if you want to hunt you know if you got questions about hunting feel free to ask down below in the comments or you can message me on instagram uh, if you got any questions on the setup I'm, I'm rocking, the guns or anything, comment down below. If you are curious or you want to see what else uh, other weapons I got, you know, but by all means, just comment down below. I'm more than well, happy and willing to make a video for that stuff. So until next time, you guys, y'all take it easy, be safe, and peace out.